Just last month, Discovery Plus announced their new spin-off, 90 Day The Single Life. All six of season one's stars, 90 Day fiancé alums who loved and lost on the show, were announced. In this stunning new trailer, we're watching them as they move on or try to in their love lives. Tears, suspicions, fights, a shocking guest star and a proposal – watch the trailer for all that and more. Ninety Day Fiancé before the 90 Days villain Big Ed Brown found fame on his season, but his lies cost him a chance at love. Now that he's trying again, he's the first to admit that he doesn't really know what sort of person he's looking for. That won't stop him from trying to date, but as fans can guess, he's going after much younger, strikingly beautiful women. We are reminded of Colt Johnson's ex-wife with a flashback to one of her most defining, meme-worthy moments. Colt moved on from Larissa Lima to try his same dastardly tricks on Jess Caroline, with the same disastrous result. He hasn't given up on dating, but he still has a type. After claiming that Larissa broke his heart, Colt admits to the camera that he still goes for strong, domineering women. I mean, have you seen my mother? He says with a smile. Say what you will about Colt, but he's happy to act ridiculous on camera in ways that fans expect him to, and it serves his reality career well. Molly Hopkins's marriage to Luis Mendes ended in disaster. As a result, Molly, who is looking more stylish than ever, by the way, says that she's done with bad boys. She wants a man. Danielle Mullins has, after much reflection, realized that trying for a repeat of her marriage would not be wise. She's setting realistic dating goals for herself, aiming to find a man who is average-looking. That said, she wouldn't complain if he's taller than she is. Notably, Danielle is conspicuously short. Fernanda Flores met her ex-husband when she was just a teenager and he was in his 30s, which was always a little uncomfortable. Now he's looking for someone reliable, independent and there for her. She's a strikingly gorgeous model in her early 20s, but that doesn't mean that dating will be a walk in the park. Brittany Banks laments how her ex was lying to her from the start. This is not really in dispute, we all saw Yazan lie on camera to her and to his family more than once. Now she's hoping to find new love, but she's not going to pull all of her eggs in one basket just yet. Molly has clearly found romance and attraction for herself, but is this man Mr. Right? She gushes about how amazing he is, but is reminded that she has felt the same way about all of her exes at one time or another. Meanwhile, Brittany is keeping her options open and dating at least two men, judging from the trailer. She's also not working too hard to spare their feelings. At one point, a man asks how she enjoyed the sex, and Brittany replied with a casual shrug. Harsh. We see Colt enter a room with his date that is… indescribable. Here it is. 1. This is amazing. 2. If you think that it looks like the TV versions of VIP rooms or maybe a porn studio, you're not wrong. Colt is then told that the room is used for exactly what it looks like – custom porn scenes. There is a grim stigma against sex workers in our culture that would make some disgraceful men run for the hills due to her job. But Cult, who has been noted for having a notoriously expensive porn habit in the past, may have found his perfect match. Fernanda is young and beautiful and living her best life. She feels one man's arm and makes out with another who warns her that he's a bitter. That's either very good or very bad, and it almost always depends upon the person saying it. However, jealousy ensues with Mr. Bite, who seems to have issues with jealousy and control. Fernanda may be having kissing adventures, but Big Ed is not so lucky. He moves in for a kiss with a woman who must be a decade or two younger than he is. She has the courage to stop him from the kiss, but it looks like the awkwardness moves Ed to tears after she leaves. People would feel more sympathy if Ed were a better person. Danielle confesses through tears to her friend that she has not taken dating seriously since Mohammed. In some ways, she's hung up on her ex. In other ways, she has never really dated at all and isn't sure how. That is a bit of a predicament. Colt Johnson walks down a pier wearing a mask, among other people who are shamefully unmasked. Honestly, they should not have filmed here. Here he drops to one knee and proposes to someone, not necessarily Vanessa Guerra, though that is certainly a major fan theory. 
We'll have to watch to find out which lady cult is aiming to put a ring on. After Danielle's further tearful confession that she will always care for Mohammed on some level, she has a visit. Mohammed walks in and sits next to her. We're sure that things will stay platonic, but everyone wants to see this play out. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.